question? Yep. Okay. Um, hi everyone, this is Steve again, SutherTech.com. Behind the camera is Keith, and um, we are photographing, uh, or videotaping, if you will, a wonderful concoction of our different projects. Um, we're using the drum Synth DS8 over here. Keith, you want to go closer and do some zoomy zoom? I put into here four, actually, Keith put into here four uh, different uh, uh, DS8 kits. And so I've got four actual drum synths, which is pretty radical because I now, if you zoom out, you will see that I have a little drum set operation that I'm working with that really works awesomely for live drums. Now, on one of the drums, because I didn't really want to pay, play a bass drum, but you can do that. Um, I just have it, uh, the bass drum set up out of my sequencer, and I'm using the gate out into my trigger on my DS8, so that allows me just to get this drum sound. So I'll show you what that's like. Um, can I hear that? So it's my, my bass sound. So it's kind of fun there. And then what I've got here, um, I've just got some different drum sounds. Uh, they're not really typical drum sounds. You can kind of make it sound like a whatever you want to make it sound like, but on the um, this crash deal that I have here, um, uh, it's triggering the DS8, and I've got that also plugged in to my eight-step sequencer here. And so one of the CVs from the eight-step sequencer is going into this particular trigger, or excuse me, the control voltage of this, and I'm getting kind of a varied sound. So it kind of plays its own little um, uh, sequence, if you will. And eventually the K is off. So what I did that for is also I've got the the um, the clock out going to the clock in of my of of my eight step sequencer for my sixteen step sequencer both of which we sell um, and so everything's in time as you notice that that's in time so it's already in time so I'm just gonna kind of mess around with the drums and you can hear what it sounds like um, she can play drums better than me I'm uh, excellent although I was first chair in drums when I was in high school. So, enjoy. here but really what we're combining is um, you can make your little drum set that is all analog circuitry really really fun the sounds can get nutty I'm just gonna mess with a few sounds without even looking at what I'm doing and uh, we'll get to a whole different variation Pretty cool. Really fun to do. Um, the DSA kit, 
the 16 step sequencer kit. Um, making your little thing, this is an ion drum pad thing. I got the Goodwill and the Goodwill bins, costing me like $5. Um, and we can find triggers really anywhere. We also make them out of old rock band um, little little pads that you can find. So anyway, a lot of fun. Uh, the DS8, man, super radical. I'm gonna do some more videos later, but check, check this out and um, I'm gonna th put through some effects and it's gonna sound really even more gnarly. Thanks.